Musty Hobbit from Second Breakfast, and you're watching Linda. Hey, beautiful people. Linda, aka The Gamer Girl here, and we're going to talk about some games that I'm playing currently, so let's get started with this shindig. Yeah, so there are four games I'm going to talk about. The other ones, like Word Munchers, Number Munchers, you know, Oregon Trail, you guys already seen what I've been playing. I've been trying to play those more and more off and on. Just to, you know, I like to play them. I like to add new people, have fun, and try different scenarios, shortcuts, different things like that. I'm currently looking for, you know, um, I try to find a good clean copy of Oregon Trail the Third. Still looking for that one. Once I find that, we're going to see who can make it through Oregon Trail. But the four games that I'm playing off, you know, away from the channel. The first one is Kinsey's Beer Run. This is a hack from John Riggs. It is many, many sprites of different games. So there's the masks from one game. And you're like, oh, uh, Mario Bros. There's sprites from different, like, uh, Toki Toki. Um, there's different games that in there. And the objective of the game is to get Kenzie through all the levels. I didn't realize how many levels there were because I had forgotten. But I rewatched John Riggs' video. He currently has 50 levels for this game, so I'm going to be taking my sweet time getting through everything. And it has a password system, so when I get through a level, I write down the password, and then when I want to come back to it, I don't have to replay all those levels. So that's one good thing I like about this game. It's just basically a platformer, short, sweet, simple, to the point. And what can you go wrong with short, sweet, simple, to the point? So the second game that I'm currently playing is Popeye. Now, you're probably going, oh yes, I already knew you were playing Popeye, but I revisited it again after I took a break from, um, I'm taking a break from some Zelda games that I'm playing uh, because they're just taking so much time. I didn't realize how many hours they're going to be. And with that, I was like, you know what, I need a break. My brain's getting, with all the puzzles, smashed to pieces. And I was like, you know what, let me play some simple games that are difficult at the same time. So I'm playing Popeye because Retro Star, my girl Retro Star, she was playing Popeye and she did no death run of the first, like, I think three levels. So I was like, oh yes, I need to play this again. I love me some Popeye. Why not? So I just destroyed the Popeye game. I don't need to explain this for you. If you've never seen Popeye, it's just a simple platformer that you run around levels collecting either no musical notes, hearts, whatever, <laughs> you know, your girl's throwing at you and you're trying to catch them and trying to get rid of the other guy, the weird creepy dude. And the third game, which is two skating games that I'm playing currently. The first one is Tony Hawk. So what I did was I deleted my save state from my previous game that I played. And I said, you know what? I want to replay Tony Hawk. So I got two skating games that I'm going to talk about the other one later. And I said, I want to beat it again. So I played Tony Hawk, mastered through it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to keep getting better and better at it. So currently I'm playing Tony Hawk. I am changing it because usually I play Tony. I'm, I'm always Tony. But he, I was like, you know what? I'll be a different character this time. See how easy it is for me to get through all the levels. So I'm playing as Alyssa. I don't remember if you know the character. Anybody who is a Tony Hawk fan. She was a really popular. Well, still is popular, but not as much it's into the skating game. She has her own board company. Um, it's called Meow Skateboards. I've been following her for a while, but she is a good skater in this one. So I was like, you know what? Let me change it up. I want to play as her and see how far I really can go. And finally, the last game I am playing is Skate 3. Now, I've beaten Skate 3 several times. Um, that There was, when I was younger, there was a couple levels that I couldn't figure out, which I am confused as to why I don't see them in there. I'm probably not triggering the pro level that I need to trigger for. But um, when I'm playing it, I'm now currently playing it on my Xbox One, so I'm revisiting it. And I've noticed there's a little bit of differences from Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Um, you're not going to be able to get all the achievements because I don't see that you can customize your skater and have like a logo that you can make. Another thing is, is I don't see like certain stuff that I saw from the previous one. If you are a Skate 3 fan and you just came across my video and you saw this, Am I right? Are they taking out certain stuff? Have they censored different things from Skate 3? That's what I've been wondering because I'm playing this and I feel like I'm missing some levels. 
and I don't know if I had to trigger something or I had to get something going and then I would move progress on but I found all the spots um, I've beaten most of them on uh, killed it level and I'm like well maybe it's something else so I keep revisiting and trying to do more levels on kill it mode and I just don't know <laughs> so I'm currently playing skate 3 trying to get to the end if you know that level where it's Rob and basically from what I remember if this is the correct one because I've played skate 2 so I might be mixing it up tell me in the comments if you know skate 3 there's a part where Rob comes back and he says you have to follow me and you have to do a certain trick on each bench and each bench there's a certain trick but I'm not seeing this in this one and for the Xbox one version so Thank you for listening to my ramblings. If you're new, please hit the sub button. It really does help out the channel. And as always, keep on gaming, everybody, even if you revisit some old games. I'll catch you later, guys, and have a great day. Bye, everybody.